Tlotzi, a story summary. Firstly, I'm going to do exactly the same as the mark. This is a grade 11 novel, part of the syllabus, the curriculum. It's one of the choices. It is going to have a lot of spoilers in it because I'm going through the characters and the relationships and point out some of the things that happen throughout the story. And so there are going to be spoilers. Please keep that in mind. Thirdly, um, it is again a South African novel written by Ethel Fugard, set in the apartheid time period. And so some of what we are going to be covering might be sensitive. Some of the terminology is derogatory. But again, it's done on purpose to highlight um, the oppressive system, to highlight the poverty, to highlight what was going on during the time. It's by no means somebody just wagging their mouth and trying to offend people. Okay, Ethel Fugard has also written other um, plays. Um, we would call them struggle plays, just like you get struggle poetry. And it's there to, to give a voice to what was happening. Okay, so that people could see this is what happened. This is what went on. We need you to be aware of it. Like I said, it's going to be a spoiler. So if you haven't finished the story, grade 11s, then you need to go and finish it. But if you're happy with spoilers, then continue watching. You will notice that the camera is very still this time around. That is because I invested in a tripod. Ha! I am working on one or two other pieces of equipment, but for now, this is what I've got. So you might have to turn the volume up a little bit. I am standing further away from my, my phone, but I have tested the zoom and it does zoom in and out. So I'm quite happy about that. And we'll take it from there. All right, so you'll see Redemption is written in green. And what I've tried to do, because of the heavy symbolism and imagery, I've tried to use certain colors to represent certain themes. So redemption, I've put in green. If you think of growth, new start, new life, spring, everything is green, everything is bright. It's almost like you've got a new slate to work on. So redemption is, is the overall theme of the story. There are many others. In red, I've put the gang and their victims. Uh, the yellow dog, you will see, becomes very, very important later on. You will notice a whole bunch of arrows. And also you will notice that there are a lot less characters than in the mark. So just like you might have a play where you don't want to get lost in all the main characters, sub-characters, add-ons, extras, you want to keep this very plain and simple. Remember, this is to highlight the troubled times of the 1960s, 70s and 80s. So I'm going to zoom in and show you the gang. Okay, on the left hand side, we have Totsi. I've represented him with the brain because he is the leader of the gang. He is the youngest member. He is very lean. Um, flexible, but he's got a certain look about him and the way that he carries himself, people look to him as, as a leader. Uh, secondly, he also never makes mistakes. If we look at Butcher, who's directly underneath him, Tsotsi knows not to trust Butcher because Butcher will kill you as soon as look at you. The reason he's got a bicycle spoke is because he's very good at finding out where to stick it in order to kill you. We'll see that with the first, first victim. Next to him is Diop. Again, like I said, the characters refer to him as this because of his long arms. Um, there's no... Well, I suppose in that time period it, it was derogatory, meant, you know, purposefully for that. But in terms of the novel and its purpose, it's to highlight that. It's it's not agreeing with it. So just keep that in mind. Diop is um, a simple thinker. 
he just follows orders. He does what he's told. Totsi knows he can trust him. And then we have Boston, who I've represented with um, shaky lines because he's always nervous and fearful. Okay, he smiles, but he hides fear, and Totsi knows that. Okay, Boston, Boston fears him immensely. Then if you look at the top right-hand corner, we've got Gumboot Lamini. He is the first victim. Chapter 1, Friday night on the train. He's got a pay packet, a tie, and a smile. And those are the three mistakes that he made. But if you read the story, and when I go over it, you'll see what I mean. In the center, we've got Morris Chabalala. Now, Morris Chabalala is interesting because he is one of the catalysts or triggers for many of Totsi's memories. And there's at least two chapters on him and a significant amount where it is a flashback. And there's no indication of where the flashbacks begin or end in the novel. And that's the only thing that, that makes it a little bit tricky. But when I go through the story, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. He's got very, very, very short legs because they're stumps. Okay, he lost his legs in a mining accident. Then on the left-hand side, we've got Miriam. There's a man crossed out because her husband, her partner, left for work one day and never came back. It was during the bus boycott, so it's quite possible that he got arrested. Uh, maybe there was a stampede and, and he died. But she's hoping that he will return one day. She's always asking people about him. She has a son of her own that she's looking after uh, named Simon. Then we've got the yellow dog. So I'm just trying to, there we go. So we've got the yellow dog. The yellow dog you are going to see all over the place. And that's because it is a very significant memory and it has a massive impact on Sotsi's mind. We've got the box. Now the box is in green as well as redemption. Because the box and the baby in the box is what causes Tsotsi to stop and think, to make decisions, to make different choices of life. And that is why redemption is also in green, because he gets a chance at a new life, a clean slate. He wants to do it over. He wants to do things right. Okay. Uh, red. For the gang, the violence, the victim, yellow because the dog is spoken of as being a yellow dog. I'm not going to use all the swear words that are in the novel. It's a very, very rough, raw, crude novel. Um, once again, to highlight the poverty, the violence, the inferiority, etc. But just because it's there doesn't mean I need to read it out. So... This one did take a little bit longer than the mark, but I think it's because there is a lot going on. And I'm going to leave it there. And in the next video, you are going to see the story as a whole. But this is just to show you how the characters are represented and how it all works together. Thank you.